We yeah. have uh, what we've just talked about here with Sydney Kuntai, yeah. uh, who is the chair for one of the uh, groups mm. that are ensuring that environmental issues are put in the forefront. And this yes. is in regards to the SGR. So yes. it has been stopped again. Yeah. 63 billion rail plan stopped. And this, of course, is because uh, one of the reasons is because apparently <coughs> the license that was issued uh, for the Kenya Railway to continue yeah. with the construction of the SGR was irregular and was not uh, basically vetted and did not consider some of the things that they're bringing up to the fore. You know, Michael, one of the accusations that have been made against the Jubilee government is that it is a Kanu government. And, you know, sometimes uh, these people don't even try to act differently. They just go right ahead and demonstrate how Kanu they are. A few minutes ago, we were talking about roadside uh, declarations. declarations. And, and you know where those roadside declarations came from. We know the, 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 now, the origin. Yeah, now you have a government that is fighting with conservationists to construct a railway over um, a, a wildlife reserve. You remember, this is the same fight that the late Professor Wangari Mathai had with the Kanu government when they wanted to build on, on Uhuru Park mm. and when they wanted to Karura. In, on, in, in Karura Forest. Yeah. So that even when one accuses Jubilee government of being Kanu reloaded, um, they should at least try to, you know, act a little bit, you know, pretend a little bit, yeah, pretend, not. you know, <laughs> pretend it, not. It has the hallmarks. Yes, yes. but mm. when we have the same, same Kanu script being reenacted <coughs> exactly the same way that it was being done in the 80s and 90s, it makes the Jubilee government look really, really bad. Really, really bad. Yes. All right, page 8.